and shout out to the people who are still going out every night but for me I just I just can't do it I can't eight nine o'clock it's time to go to sleep somebody let somebody tell me oh something starts at 11 guess I can't make it yeah we give thanks like we need it the most we have to give thanks like we really supposed to be thankful hey guys welcome back to my channel I am proud back with another video are you ready for a vibe today's a great day to have a what great day you already know it guys now as you guys can see the surroundings are different um i've been dropping like backup videos that i have but i'm actually already moved out of our apartment and i'm on the road with my husband but right now we are on a birthday my birthday slash anniversary trip we just hit five years shout out to black love whoop, whoop. but um I'm in, we're in Mexico, so that's why the background is different. We're at a resort. The food is bland, but that's not why I'm here. I actually, since we're talking about, you know, birthdays, I wanted to get into this video because, y'all, the age is hitting your girl, man. I'm getting old. And you know what I want to talk about? How you know you're getting old. So, this topic is all about you know you're getting old when. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Before we do, just want to make sure that I ask you guys, please consider subscribing to my channel. I just need your help. I need to make it grow. So, I'd be really grateful if you went ahead and subscribed because that will help me grow, help me get out there, share some of these videos. Let me know what you think. But nevertheless, just wanted to say that, you know, if it's your first time checking it out, welcome. If not, welcome back. Boo. Now, let's get into it. So I wrote it down, first things first. You know when you know you're getting old? When politics are important. When you start looking at the news and when Trump says something and you feel like this might really affect you. Cause I feel like when I was young, maybe that's just me, maybe you guys were a little bit more enlightened. But when I was young, I didn't really care. Like I remember when Obama won, I was just like, oh my God, he's black, that's amazing. But I didn't really concern myself with how will this affect my future. And now, I really am out here, like my husband listens to Bloomberg all the time and I'm, I'm always like, What's, what's going on what's happening and I actually focus more like on the weather and things like that so that's first things first politics policies you start wondering like am I Democrat am I Republican what am I what do I believe in what am I standing for like education all these things start to matter so that's number one number two your bedtime listen okay we all know especially with me living from living in Florida for the majority of my life like when you turn 18 19 you start going to the club you leaving the house like midnight one o'clock you know what I mean like you're really going out there and turning up now nine o'clock it's time for bed and it's not all the time like it's good to go out but and shout out to the people who are still going out every night but for me I just I just can't do it I can't eight nine o'clock it's time to go to sleep somebody let somebody tell me oh something starts at 11 guess I can't make it so that's definitely it on that um friendships you know when you in high school you got your squad you got your clique you got your homies and you get older and everybody just starts to just slide off and you start to have more quality than quantity and I'm actually okay with that because I remember like in high school it's, it's very easy because you see everybody every day to have like hundreds of friends only thing I wish I would have done in high school is start this YouTube channel that's neither here nor there what I'm saying is as I got older, like even with being in my sorority, I just feel like a good few is better than too many, okay? Because can't even keep up. That's what happened with Jesus and Judas. We see how that went down. But anyways, next thing, vegetables, okay? When you were young, I bet you did not care about your vegetables. You weren't looking at your intake. I hope you are now and drinking your water. But I remember growing up, like you know how they say like your parents trying to make you, like force you to eat vegetables? Now I enjoy spinach, I enjoy broccoli. I feel, I feel healthy when I get these things in my system. I used to hate mushrooms and onions. Now, fill it up on the plate. So I think when you your food like choices start to change, it's definitely a sign of you getting older. And and just know, guys, it's nothing wrong with getting older. It's a blessing. There's beauty in change. All right, next is relationships. Um, I feel like when you're young, you have time to like talk to a few different people. Even though I don't know how old people do it, where you're just like dating and cheating and doing the most. But I feel like when you get older, it's like you just want something serious. You don't really have time for games. You're busy doing your own thing. Sometimes you don't even want a relationship when you're older because you just don't even want to deal with the nonsense. So I feel like when you're young, you have time to play around. You want to do the, what you're doing. You want to cake up. Now bedtime, okay? You don't even want to cake up with anybody. You just, you just want to go. So relationships, the older you get, the more things change for sure and the less time you have for games. Um, money. Back in the day, $20 was a lot. Now, $2,000 is still like bills are, bills are getting paid. 
money definitely changes as you age when you give a kid 20 30 shoot even nowadays you probably give a kid 20 dollars they're like what am i do with this but you know like back in the day when you were younger you felt like you had a hundred dollars like you were living now a hundred dollars like this is over so money definitely changes as we age um music music and clubbing i remember i used to love i used to love going to the club on south beach with my friends just turning up coming home five six in the morning now if the music's too loud and i think my husband hates that because we be in the truck or in the car and i'm just like can you just can you just lower it a little bit because i just i don't know maybe because i listened to too much loud music growing up but it's like i get headaches my ears hurt and i still enjoy listening to music but going to the club it's like you leave and you feel like you deaf it's too much so music definitely st starts to change and noise in general like before i think like i used to be so loud like i'm still a little loud but i used to be so loud like one of my friends mom she used to be like you know when angie's over because and that's my middle name but anyways um she they used to be like you know when angie's over because She's so damn loud. And now I just, I hate loud noises, like too much of it. Even like this this trap music, guys. But, um, kidding, not really. But um, roller coasters and rides, theme parks in general. I used to love, like, I remember when Bush Gardens came out with Shikra. I was out here, I was enjoying myself. I went on Shikra like two, three times in a row, same day. Now, I wish you would try to get me on a roller coaster. I refuse. What, what? You know you get older and you like, y'all know y'all risking y'all lives out there, right? Like what thrill is this really? I, I don't think it's for me, man. So no more roller coasters. Like every time I think about it, like, oh, it'd be so cute to go to Six Flags, but there's nothing there for me. Um, Anything scary, like, oh my gosh, y'all. I used to love Halloween Horror Nights, which I would still go. That's, that's different, I would still go to that. But I used to enjoy like watching like Freddy vs. Jason and Halloween and all them type of scary movies. Now, I don't want it. I don't want it. I think I probably saw Paranormal Activity when I was in college and I was like, nope, it's, 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 I'm okay. So anything scary, I just, I'd rather not. And I feel like the older you get, you're just like my heart. And on top of that, you ever hear people be like, take them demons away from me. That's a, that's a lot of negative energy. Okay, I don't want none of that around. So nope, nothing scary. Fast food. Let me tell y'all something, okay? Judge me if you may, but McDonald's? Oh, okay. I used to up some fast food on the regular. Me and my friend, I had a friend named Ann, and we used to go to McDonald's and just hit up the dollar menu. Y'all ever been to Dollar Tree and feel like you balling? We used to be like that at McDonald's, just fries, Big Macs. What, what else they have? McChickens, all types of stuff, uh, McFlurries. I used to love fast food. Now, like, I'm not gonna lie, what did I have recently? What did I have recently? Oh. Recently, I did have some Wendy's. I was a little bit ashamed, but it was it was a dire situation. It wasn't that dire. I could have I could have got something else, but I was just tired and I was craving, and I was I probably had a little munchies. But anyways, I had some Wendy's, and it wasn't terrible. But while I was eating it, I knew that a part of me was dying because fast food is really bad for you. So all types of fast food, McDonald's, KFC, no fast food, especially the older you get. Last things, um, you rather park far. I feel like when you were young. It's so easy to just like want to park up close because you just you want to see your car, you want to be near your car, you just you know you want to walk easy. Now, I you want to preserve your car, especially if it's something nice. You don't want anybody to hit it. These hudlums, you know, you just you just move real different. So it's like before it used to be like you know I'm gonna park in the front, I'm gonna wait for a spot. Now you'd be like I don't even want to be around these crazy people. Let me just go all the way to the back where nobody's gonna hit my car. Okay, let me get into this real quick. We check gas prices now. You check the weather. You ever like look around to see like is there more affordable gas somewhere else? So you see a gas price and you feel appalled or astonished like can't do it. Checking gas prices, checking the weather before you leave the house. I used to go to school and it's like when I was almost at a bus stop, that's when I would realize that it's freezing outside or damn, there's a thunderstorm or a hurricane is coming. Now, I right, let me step outside the house for two seconds. It's too cold, changing my whole outfit. I check the weather, I like to check the weather reports. And right now, see where I'm in Mexico? I check the weather before I got here. I, even when I'm trying to plan trips in advance, you know what we do? 
what's the weather like on this month in this area it's always smart to do that so i feel like when you get an old you do that now you start calling teens kids you start calling teenagers or anybody you know in the early 20s even you just start being like these little kids because the mentality is different i feel like when you're young even in your early early 20s like 2021 20, you feel like oh my gosh i know what i'm doing i have like a handle on my life not to say that people don't but I feel like even through, unless you've had like some really crazy experiences that have, matured, that have matured you a lot, most of the time when you're 21, you're still young and dumb. So when you get a little bit older, you start getting your late 20s and you start looking at those kids like, I mean, see, look at me, I'm over here like those kids. When you start looking at those people like, that's some kids, that's somebody baby right there. That's how you know you getting old. And uh, let's talk about this, last thing, last one here, you mind your business. You don't even like being on the phone. You just, you enjoy text messages, don't call me. You just stay out the way you mind your business, you drink your water, like things like, I, I'm not gonna lie, I enjoy a little tea, but before the tea, I feel like when I was in high school, even early college, it was in my life. Now the tea is only on the shade room. I just go, maybe even hit up, what is it, Love and Hip Hop, watch a few episodes, got my shade, got my tea, I'm good to go. But um, I feel like the older you get, the more you, at least you should, because it's a lot of old people that don't know how to act. But yeah, it's, 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 really, it's a really good sign that you're getting older when you learn to stay out the way and mind your business. And if you're young and doing that, you're already winning. But yeah, man, that's all I wanted to talk about. You know, I'm out here, it's my birthday, I'm aging, and I'm experiencing everything on this list because I wrote it down, because this is my life. But um, I just wanted to say all that and come on here and tell you guys that I have not been dropping videos consistently because... A lot of things are changing, but I have to work on that and do better. But nevertheless, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. And please consider subscribing and help me grow this channel. But um, sending you guys so much love, light, and all things good always. My name is Pravi. Peace.